Hey everyone, it's me here, Eric Kimball, and today in this video I'm going to show you a little technique, a little tip, a little method of work that I learned many years ago from a plumber, and it is a way of making threaded pipe connections that do not leak, for sure. Now, I was, at the time that I learned this, doing a lot of kitchen and bathroom remodeling, and I was doing the plumbing, and I was making uh, threaded connections like I'm going to be doing right here with this three inch chrome pipe nipple. I'm going to put it into uh, brass drop ears right here. This will be a pedestal sink. Got the cold, the hot. I want to thread this in there so that it does not leak. And I also want to thread it in so that I don't mar the chromed finish. Okay, so I'm going to show you that also. But the a uh, problem that I had was at that time, back then, was that I would put Teflon tape on and wrap it around, as they say, three or four turns, thread it in, and most of the time it didn't leak. It held the water, and but sometimes it didn't. You know, it was just kind of, it's like you, you put the Teflon tape on, I'm sure you're familiar with the process, and you um, uh, thread it in and you just hope, oh, I hope it doesn't leak. And <laughs> so anyway, I uh, asked the plumber, you know, if you're working with a professional and you got questions, that's the time to ask. And I asked this guy, uh, how do you put your threaded connections together so they don't leak? Because sometimes Teflon tape just doesn't do it. And he said, yeah, you're right. Uh, he recommended that I put on three wraps of Teflon tape, which I'm doing right here, right now, and then use some pipe dope, pipe dope, pipe thread sealant. Now, prior to him saying that, it never occurred to me that you would use both on a threaded connection. I was of the mind that you used only Teflon tape or you used only the dope, the pipe dope. Uh, thread sealant. He said, you know, use them both and you won't get any leaks. And so I did. And he was right. Uh, on all the years after, on a threaded connection, never had a leak because I wrapped it with Teflon tape. Then I put the pipe dope on. I am partial, uh, for what it's worth, to the uh, Rector seal number five. I don't know if they have other numbers, but this is what I get. Pipe thread sealant. I bought a new one here but I have a little on this old one and I'll knead it around in there and it'll probably still be good. Now, let me zoom in here and I'll show you how to thread in a chrome a pipe nipple without marring it up with your pipe wrench. I should say that there is a difference in Teflon tapes. If you buy the cheapest stuff, uh, you might, you might uh, regret it. Just, just buy good quality Teflon tape. It's more expensive, it's thicker, and it's better. Don't take a chance. Get the good stuff. And here is the end of my uh, threads with uh, Teflon tape on it. And I'm going to use my new tube of Rector Seal thread sealant because that the stuff does go bad. And that old tube, the 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 dope here was uh, quite runny. And I'm not going to take a chance on that. So there you go. Got. Got a good coating of that on there, and I'm gonna wipe this off somewhere besides my pant leg. So now we're gonna we're gonna thread it in there, right? Okay, just like so by hand. Can almost go all the way by hand. Then I'm gonna use an internal a pipe wrench. This is an internal pipe wrench. Definitely the right tool for the job. Half inch in this instance, they come in different sizes. Put that in there, and there's a there's a cam on there that will cam into the side, and then you can take a, a wrench like that, or you can get a socket like this, and you just start threading that thing in there. Now, when it starts getting tighter, you want to, of course, get a little bit of a grip on your uh, drop ear in this instance. 
Now I've got a lot of leverage here with this ratchet. And the question is, when do you stop? Well, you stop right about there. <laughs> it's hard to say where you stop. You just know, you just know. Go until it gets a little bit tight, but you don't wanna go all the way. And see how I've wiped that off? How nice that looks? We'll turn this the other way. Come on now. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have uh, an, just enough room for a, a scutcheon. And then after the drywall's on, we're gonna thread on a, a, a stop, a right angle stop like that. I guarantee you're not gonna have any threaded pipe connections that leak if you use good quality Teflon tape, good quality fresh pipe dope, if the old stuff isn't what it should be anymore. And yeah, just like I showed you, it's gonna work every time, no fail. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video.